Tonight, we are learning more about millions of gallons of sewage in our local waterways, and it's threatening some low country shellfish beds. Now, the sewer line breach happened near Highway 17 and Old Charleston Highway in Hollywood last Monday, and it wasn't fixed until this week. The Department of Health and Environmental Control now issuing recalls for some oysters. News 2's Sophia Arizoza speaks to an oyster farmer who says a mistake like this has a real impact on their livelihood. It's a really big issue because it puts our oystermen out of work for a period of time. A three week closure for shellfish beds. Until water quality returns to normal and we can safely harvest and consume shellfish again. Ranging from the Charleston Harbor to the North Edisto River. And that's a huge, huge swath of, of uh, public trust oyster bed and, and, and commercial oyster leases. After an estimated 2.4 million gallons of sewage leaked into the headwaters of the Stono River over the course of eight days. The town of Hollywood uh, needs to do a better job keeping up with their sewer infrastructure that that this leak was able to go on or this spill was able to go on for eight days is a huge red flag. The Department of Health and Environmental Control recalling oysters harvested in the area over the past week. A lot of restaurants don't have local oysters right now because of this spill. Oystermen like Chris John out of work for three weeks. It's not good for oyster farmers. It's not good for our industry. Uh, we really hope that you know, these type of spills don't happen to affect our livelihood. The loss of income on a week that was expected to be highly profitable. This is really surprising closure for us right now in our high season, especially bad because we had the festival downtown. Oystermen and local restaurants now resorting to unaffected beds until the oysters bounce back from this unexpected setback. What we do on land has a direct impact to what happens in the water. And so, you know, maintaining your septic tank, you know, uh, maintaining water and sewer infrastructure is really important because it, it protects the livelihoods of the oystermen that are on our water, earning a living from the resource. The Department of Health and Environmental Control has notified harvesters and vendors individually to ensure they are aware of these closures and recalls. The beds will remain closed for a minimum of 21 days. DHEC will be taking regular water quality tests. Reporting in studio tonight, Sophia Zoza, Count on Two.